This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Get a $49.com with code MMA149. Defenso, use code MMA Nuts for 15% off your entire order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts, episode 213. Two, one, three. My name's Ingo Weigold. Matt Grew with the MMA Show. By MMA fans, for MMA fans, we walk the line between serious and ridiculous. What's going on, Ingo? I'm not feeling too well. I think I'm, I'm burnt out or something. Burnt out? Burnt in. I think you've been smoking too much weed. Not me. It's illegal in Illinois, Matt. Yeah, that's what they say. I don't do illegal things. So uh, is anal sex. Is it? No sodomy? Is sodomy illegal everywhere? I don't know. I don't either. Not Probably. up on all these rules and regulations. They come to your house and check? Probably. Have you look sodomized at anyone today? Why is there a Tabasco bottle sticking out of your ass, sir? No reason. I like it there. I like it spicy. Spicy it is. Spicy is good. Oh, I got to give you some chips. Remind me before you leave. I got chips. these spicy dill chips. They taste like dill, but they burn like a fucking jalapeno or habanero. Okay. It's crazy. You're, it's very confusing when you eat them. Because it tastes the dill, but then they get the heat. Okay. I'll check them out. Thank you. I could always use some chips. Yes. It's very healthy. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm trying to gain weight or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watch your girlish figure. It hasn't actually <laughs> happened, but I feel like I'm trying to make it happen somehow. So. What's that? Gain weight. Get heavier. I don't know why. There's a good, There's easy ways to do that. No, no, I'm saying I'm not trying to really, but it's my body's like trying to be like it's changing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is it time for change? Huh? Change. Turning into a woman. I'm going to have a sex change. <laughs> That'd be a little awkward. I'll be Inga. <laughs> I'll be a little Inga. 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 I don't know how I feel about this, Inga. That'd be weird. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to be careful because... I know how you feel about cyborg. <laughs> it's gonna hey. be like a little weird. Speaking of the cyborg, <laughs> you could transition right into uh, this. I kind of lobbed that over. To Thank you. you. Did you see? Well, obviously you did because you sent me the fucking pic. I did. But uh, cyborg in a bikini. The bikini is getting a little too large for her now, so she's trying to show a little something, something. She's cutting down to 135. And there's another picture out which I will post on her Instagram where she's looking juicy. Okay. Still not a fan of the cyborg? Nah. Okay. It's all for me then. It's all you. But uh, I'm I'm very excited to I see the cyborg. I hope you meet her one day. I hope I'm there. Why? It'll be amazing. I don't know. It'd just be cool. I don't need my dreams I'm crushed. Gonna, I'm gonna film it. I gotta like my phone out. <laughs> that meet cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be so glorious. I just wanna have her give me like piggyback rides to places. Okay. She probably would do that. Can I have a <laughs> piggyback ride? <laughs> what? Just yeah. please, no reason. Take me to a fucking uh, kick your ass. hot dog joint. I can't eat hot dogs, but maybe she could. I could feed her hot dogs while she. But like, oh I, I like where I'm going here, so I'm gonna <laughs> pr progress a little. Cyborg, fucking piggyback me, or I get on her back and we piggyback to uh, I don't know the Portillos, and I'm guessing she probably likes everything on her foot long. Probably. And then I could feed them to her. Like it's a training method. Like she's well, gotta work. With me on her back, and then I'm randomly jamming hot dogs <laughs> in her mouth. I could see this. Mm. This would be a good video. Mm. I'm sure she'll be up for all this. Probably. But they that's not going to help her to go to 135. No. But she could fight Gina Carano again at whatever weight. 142. Whatever. Catch weights. Catch weights. Fuck it. Didn't we say open weight anyway? We don't care about weight classes. We're just going to... Two people care. agree to fight. We don't give a fuck. Do it. Let's just have it. Yes. To move along before I go into any more cyborg fantasies where cyborg. she's feeding me jelly beans in the middle I of an like octagon this is so for no strange. reason. I, every time we start talking about cyborg, I think of Wayne's World. Remember what? how Garth had like the thing for was it? Uh, he had a remember he would go into like his crazy world and he would think about like crazy thoughts about that chick. Wayne's World. Yeah, I know the movie. I'm <laughs> just trying to think. Chick. I don't remember him having Tia a career. No, no, that was Wayne with Tia Carrera, and then oh, that's uh, what it was. I got it confused. Yeah, because yeah. he, Garth was with Kim Basinger. That's it. But there was he wasn't in their world. Wayne was. Yes. yes that's how. When I when you, you start talking about her, that's what I think. Like, <laughs> like, you like think she's like, got some sort of voodoo spell yeah. over me, baby? Yeah. Maybe. She might. Could be. I wonder how that happens. It's very strange. I don't know. So, speaking of the strange and unusual. What about the Thiago Silva's back in the UFC? We were just talking about him last week. 
We were. And so I guess you're guilty until proven innocent? Correct. This is how everybody runs this shit these days? So Well, I don't know. There was a lot of stories on the internet, uh, sup- supposedly, that he went somewhere with a gun and all that. Yeah. That, that didn't happen? Well, it happened, but I guess his wife, or not his wife, but his girlfriend skipped town, so now all the charges have disappeared, oh, and now he's back. Interesting. He's back. Okay. Good Posting the picture. Okay. And when he does that, I, I think he means it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit scared that by him. You go tattoo on his neck. Yes, yes. That's one of those guys that scares me. Yeah. Like when you think of people, I wouldn't want to fight. Well, I don't want to fight anybody in the UFC, but there's something about him. Didn't he bongo somebody? Yeah, Brandon Vera. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. But he—that's when he got popped for the juice the first yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. See. See my my brain works sometimes. It's all coming back. <laughs> what else is going on? Didn't you have something? Uh, oh yeah, Randy Co- Randy Couture, Dancing with the Stars season. He's he's on it. There's a lot of crazy. This is a strange season. I forgot everyone who's on it, but there's a re- real weird mix of people. So, how do you feel about this? I know Chuck was on the um, and he did okay. Well, two questions. One is the show relevant anymore, and Absolutely. two is Randy Couture relevant anymore? He will be after he's on the show. As long as he makes it a few weeks, that's the whole point. It's like a revival. Dancing with the Stars has power to bring people back from the dead. You know? No, so, go ahead. I don't know that he's really dead, but, I mean, I haven't really seen all the movies. Did you see all the Expendables? I saw the first one. Uh, parts. Not, I don't know if I've made it through all of them. I can't. I can't stomach yeah. them, but. I like to see the Rousey, the three ones, yeah. just to see how Rousey does acting. But uh, well, good for him. He's making money. Yeah, I can't argue. And you want to speak about couture and relevancy. <coughs> There's the rumor that Scott Coker is trying to set up the Randy Couture versus Fedor match. Whoa. Is, that, that, is that even relevant anymore? Would you want to see that? No. Yeah, I don't. I think it's done. That's Why would you do that? What's the point? It, well, we'll save the rest of our Bellator comments for later. But Do uh, those guys even want to fight anymore? Isn't Randy like 80 years old? Yeah, he's a fucking. But he could be juiced to the gills. I'm sure oh, he is now. Sure. He is you know, sure. if you're not, if you're doing movies, like look at Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> the guy, what is he, 70 now? But he's fucking shredded as yes, shit. He is. But self-admitted, he's on the HGH. And if you're an actor, what the fuck? Why not? You're not. All you got to do is look pretty and throw a couple lines here yeah. and there, right? Yep. So I'm all good for everything, especially acting. Me too. Did I mention we were being brought to you by GoDaddy and Go? You did not. New code. What? $49.com. A dollar? What is this, like Walmart? <laughs> it's getting cheaper, man. You can't get a cheap. Talk about the cheapest way to support us. Jesus. You have a buck fifty you could spend? Yeah. Buy a domain. Get a domain. Get in the game. MMA 149. Yeah, you should, especially, you know, if you have a name, you know, that's not totally common. You should buy your own domain. I mean, that's just common sense. Yes. Even if you're not going to do anything with it, you should buy your domain. You know, Brandon Weinstein, where are you, motherfucker? You got dollar forty nine. Buy your buy your domain. Spend some yeah. money. Yes, you yeah. can. You can make it happen. You can. Did you see this new UFC product? They have a uh, what the fuck do you want to call it? It's a hot dog. No, mm. it's a wiener brander. Oh, so you, <laughs> so you can stamp the USC grill mark on your fucking wiener. Dude. See? That's how I do it. I'm on Cyborg's back. She's piggybacking me. I'm feeding her hot dogs. Branded UFC. So she knows, like, she's one step closer oh. every time I jam that hot dog in her mouth. I like Getting that. ready, getting closer, getting ready, getting closer. I thought you wanted to brand her wiener. No, <laughs> no. And it's probably bigger than mine, but it's okay. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Yes. Cyborg. As long as you don't see it, it's all good. You know, right, right. It's tucked away. Yeah, yeah, no. It's all good. It's all good. Neither here nor it's there. Crying game. <laughs> no, mostly That's not. Be there. Like, ah. like, why, God? You fucking tricked me again. <laughs> I thought I was in. This when I'm out. They slip me back in or something. Yeah. UFC fight pass. Oh no! What happened? It's Problems. So, yeah, Invicta. I think this was number eight. Middle of the main event, fucking stream shits out. 
shits out. And the UFC decides to make it up to everybody. So what do they do? They offer a 10% discount off of future pay-per-view for people that were watching the stream. And here's the challenge. I wasn't watching the stream, but why don't I get the 10%? Did you I'm pay a for subscriber. It? I bought the free? Fight Pass. It was on the Fight Pass. How do you know if you were watching it or not? I don't know. I must have tracking code. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I should get $6 off my next pay per view. <laughs> Fuck. Is that even a good deal? Because no. you got fucked? <laughs> Here's your $6. Oh my God. I feel like they could do something better. Like give them a, a, month, a month free or something? Something. I feel like we're Dick getting pics of off. Cyborg. That'd be cool. Or, yeah. Whatever. That's fine. You're going to play it like that, Ingo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, oh, man, sorry. I'm just going to sit here and drink now. Fine. Uh, what else we got to talk about? What happened? Um, well, are we, are we ready to talk about Bellator? Uh, almost. I want to talk about the last thing of the Roy McDonald story oh, no. that came out. Yeah. So. Rory McDonald, he transfers cell phones, gets a new cell phone number. The old cell phone number goes to a fan of Rory's, and the UFC is sending him text messages about what walkout music he wants, and the fan starts giving replies. So I guess this went on for like fucking two years, and uh, I don't know if Rory's not the smartest tool in the box or sharpest tool, however you want to say it, but... Uh, wouldn't you think someone in his fucking camp might mention something to him, or is that just the running joke of fuck this guy and his walkout music? Well, uh, you know, you mentioned this a few minutes ago to me before we started, and I didn't think of this then, but now I'm wondering, if they have his wrong phone number, when did they ever, how did they ever reach him via phone? Like, don't they have to call him sometimes? You would think. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it was just that guy that does the music had yeah, the wrong everyone number. Uh, everyone else has the right number. Yeah. That's probably the scenario. I think they should let the fans vote on their walkout music. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Right? Someone's going to get that selfie song. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, who, who was the other one who had it the one time? Derek Brunson at Strike Force came out to Miley Cyrus something or other. Really? What is it? Maybe because of his uh, something, lost some kind something. Of bet. I forgot the fucking name of the song. I don't know a single Miley Cyrus song. Sorry. I know she twerks, right? Isn't that who started that? The twerking? Yeah, and that fucking outfit that didn't fit her body. <sighs> yeah, not cool. No. And should I even bring up, like, naked leaked celebrity pictures, or are you going to go off for 30 minutes trying to you find You can bring them? it up. Okay. Go They're, ahead. like, gone. I heard that the Reddit, subedit, or whatever it was, the fappening, completely gone from Reddit now. I tried to go home last Sunday. And check it out, and I couldn't find a goddamn thing. It was <laughs> gone. It was like it never happened. Somebody, somebody pulled the plug somewhere. I've seen it all. You've seen it all, yeah. I Maybe, saw, I saw except for these underage girls. No, I, I, I saw the Jennifer Lawrence stuff while we were on air, I suppose. Mm. But then it was gone. Too bad. I should have saved it. It's still out there. Yeah. You can somewhere. find it. In the deep, dark web. Yeah. In the underweb. Yeah. Perhaps. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. It's all good. Whatever. They're all angry. Well, that's why do you put it in the cloud anyway? Well, it's, it's your personal. Found the hammer. It's your personal phone. Whatever. You're thinking whatever, whatever. But the way I see it, you're already a celebrity. It's like, do you really have any privacy? No. I don't think so. You don't. And the, all the chicks are good anyway. So yeah. it's not like you have anything to be disappointed or ashamed about. No. It probably makes you more popular. It does. I think more of you ladies should release more of your <laughs> naked pictures. Well, some of some of them mysteriously leak things well, that are like, I never meant to, you know, and then next thing you know, Kim Kardashian yeah. happens. <laughs> I never meant to be bent over with this big black cock up my asshole in one of my hand, in one of my other hand, one of my vagina, and <laughs> one of my ear, and one of my other ear, and then Dicks next everywhere. thing you know, it's a cocky party. There you go. Where are we going now? <laughs> Bellator. I feel like we're train wrecking this fucker. Bellator. Hey. Or do you have more? No. We're, we're, I really want to talk about this Bellator. All right, go ahead. Because I didn't watch <laughs> the... Huh? <laughs> I just changed slides. It's, we're in Bellator world. I didn't go. watch this one, but I did see the crazy Bonner slash Tito Ortiz debacle. 
and I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. Fake, real, or? Well, it's 100% yeah. fake because you don't come into <laughs> the circle gun and bring a person that, first off, I know it's Justin McCauley, but the average fan is not going to know that. You would have been much better served bringing a Tank Abbott into the scenario. So fail one right there. Uh, I don't know, is this Scott Coker's new plan to liven up the Bellator or Spike Bellator, whatever they're calling it now? Or my new theory, I think Coker is a fucking UFC plant and he's trying to sabotage Bellator and trying to bring this pro wrestling angle in, who which King Mo will probably like. Yeah. But I don't know. Is he a plant? Perhaps. I feel like he's a plant, Ingo. Might be. I'm getting frightened. Uh, I don't like it one bit, though. No. From the MMA standpoint. It, unless, if you had Gus Johnson calling that <laughs> and telling me that would be these things happen in MMA with his purple lipstick and matching <laughs> tie and little woohoo in his uh, fucking suit thing pocket, yeah. then I might be in. Okay. But uh, I don't like the way we're going here because you're blurring a line between sport and entertainment from the real side. I think it's fucking bullshit. Don't do this shit. Maybe Bellator announces Chael Sonnen to be re-signed? Yeah. He's only suspended for two years, but maybe that's just in the UFC. And if you're fighting on Indian reservations or Indian casinos, do the athletic commissions have any say over... Who and what? No. That might be a good move then. Maybe we're going to go down that route. Could be. I think it's a slippery slope, bingo. Slippery. I don't like it. There's a dog scratching. Yeah, she, my dog doesn't even fucking like it. Fuck Bellator. Scratch, scratch. Yeah. So, I think they got a lot of backlash. I don't see, I'd say out of the hundred or so comments that I've read mm -hmm. about this, I would say two people like it, 98 do not. And one just jerks off in a corner for no reason. Nice. There's always room for that. Yeah, that makes 101. <laughs> you gotta go, if you're gonna do anything, you gotta do it 101%, right? Right. right. Yeah. Oh man, what else? Oh, Chuck Congo fought. Oh yeah. And almost do? got knocked out, but ends up securing a rear naked choke and winning. Whoa. And Bobby Lashley fought and secures a rear naked choke and ends up winning. Did he lay and pray? A um, little bit, but he's just so fucking big. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. It doesn't, the guy shouldn't be fighting. <laughs> and, sure. and again, we're blurring the, the lines of, is this wrestling or is this reality? I don't know anymore. Yeah, he's a big dude. Fuck, and, and then the rumor is the two of them want to fight next, so fuck it. Let them throw yeah. bombs at each other and see what happens, so. Let's move right along into the UFC. UFC whatever. Fight night, like <laughs> yeah. 212. It's weird. There was so much MMA on, and I'm confused as to what to watch. <laughs> and I want to mention the cage size in this. They said they used a smaller cage for this event. And I want to say it was 25 feet, and the normal size is 30, so it was 5 feet smaller. Because they always said that there's more action in the smaller cage. Like the WEC used to have so much action because the cage is smaller. Granted, you have the smaller fighters, but yeah. then you go to this fucking... Massive. Like we talked before, like the little guys, maybe it would be more entertaining if you drop a little dog cage on these fuckers <laughs> and there's no room to move. You can't run away anymore. <laughs> Dominic Cruz, fuck off. You can't run away Put from me. Put him in a phone booth. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Shit's got to go down, man. Elbows and knees. Yeah. So I like this smaller cage action because you had, I don't know how many finishes, but a yeah, shit bunch. ton. And both of the heavyweight fights, thankfully, finished in the first round. We didn't get this sloppy yep. fucking f three round Ben Rothwell. I've seen a couple of those uh, decisions. And should we, do you want to start with that one? We talk about the. the Rothwell? I don't give a fuck. Where do you want to go? 
Lozon, Mitrione, or Rothwell? You decide. You said Rothwell. We'll start right. there. So, I what, thought what that Overeem was winning that fight un until he got knocked out. <laughs> yes. <I thought. laughs> he was landing some pretty <laughs> he good He was doing kicks. pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he looked... He looked. I, I I never liked his style recently because I think like it's very lazy, you know. The, in the last few years, whereas he's not that intimidating guy he once was. So people aren't scared of him. You can't play that like you know. I'm cocky. I'm gonna come kick your ass. Rothwell didn't really seem to care. You know. No. I think he had him backing up up a couple times uh, when when Overeem landed like a a big knee. There was if I recall there was a big knee and then also a big kick, and Rothwell was like. Like, whoa, but he came right back, yeah. you know? So. I don't give a shit. Nope. And this Rothwell character, uh, he might be a force to be reckoned with again. Uh, is he on the juice? Oh, he's on the TRT, isn't he? He was, wasn't he? Well, yeah. remember, his physique wasn't that good, and again, he shows up with a good physique. So now we've got two guys on separate paths, because look at the Overeem. I think he got popped right after the Lesnar fight, if I remember correctly. And I want to say he's gotten knocked out in three of his last four fights now. And is that him not having good chin or him being off the sauce? Probably I don't know. Both. A little both? Yes. And then Rothwell, he broke his arm in that fight. So he says, and, yes. And then uh, Overeem said that he heard the fucking bone snap. But didn't think he would be able to get counterpunched from that side, so he got a little sloppy and he got KO'd again. Okay. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you know, that's either here or there. Yeah. So, like 50 times already in his and, career. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. But I, I think this is, I think this is a marketing ploy from Overham to get into Bellator. You think so? Yes. Okay. He is purposely going out there and losing fight Dingo. <laughs> Just so he could get absorbed he's into Bellator. against himself. Yes. See, Bellator has his fingers in everything, and one of them's over him. Okay. Where's that finger, man? It, it, wherever. <laughs> is it rectally implanted? No. In the ear? Probably. Or it's in, uh, who's it? Chisea's uh, Wildebeest Vagina. Ah, yeah. Joe Chies Lozon. Chiesa. Oh, thank you. Michael Chiesa, I yeah. can't put around the name. She's uh, I think he's Italian. Whatever. Right. He um, looks like Jesus. He's Jesus now. <laughs> well, that was a good fight. And once again, I thought he was winning that fight. At least the first round um, was definitely... What did he get hit with? Was it a knee? Yes. A pretty good, cut him open? Pretty good knee. And it looked like he had Joe a little bit winded, you know, near the end of the first. And maybe he was starting to gain some momentum. And then they had a pretty good scrap to start that second round. Mm -hmm. And um, I think Joe just came out on top of that and threw a couple of really good knees. And that cut opened up. It was like, oh, vagina. Forehead. I'd say fight on. I think it's <laughs> bullshit. You can't stop that fight. It wasn't even bleeding his eyes. Yeah. Well, it was blood everywhere. And I think it was down to the bone, so it's hard to say, like, how dangerous is that? I don't know if he gets popped in it again. Does he lose his eyeball, his eyelid? Well, I think Joe was ramming his head into it, too. Like, once he? he saw that cut, he was kind of, like, oh, yeah, why would you? mashing it a yeah. little bit. Right. And Lozon, now, most bonus money ever in the UFC, 13. Wow. Ahead of who's representing? Anderson Silva with okay. 12. Fucking A, man. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's life-changing money. It is, and good for him because he's got the son with cancer, which is really yeah. crazy. He's got like some kind of can rare cancer, born with it. Uh, seems to be doing better, but mm -hmm. good for him. You know, he's he's uh, he's always been one of my favorite guys to watch because he's always exciting. So um, you know, Ooh, where'd that go? Just firing <laughs> shit. I don't even care anymore. Trying to wake me up. Yeah, I might fall asleep by the time it's over. It's I can all good. literally close my eyes right now and fall asleep, but. It's not because I'm bored. I'm just not feeling Wake well. up! I'm trying. Ingo! I'm trying. That's the first time I've struck him in four and a half years on the set. <laughs> he beats me every time before we start. Yeah. <laughs> he beats me. <laughs> Do your job! Yeah. I'm like, good time for another leg kick, bitch. <laughs> Whack! Yeah. Whack! Um, what else is there on this card? Uh, let's see. Oh, the other... Mitrione? Yeah, yeah. What was your thoughts there? Oh, he flattened him. Who is that? Lewis in 41 seconds. There... They're just slamming bodies, and he, what did he hit him? He hit him with like a short punch, and then like a forearm shiver, 
and then down to the ground and fuck follows it up and the talks he said he went hood on him or something i don't know yeah. i know the other guy called him out he didn't, he didn't like, like it. it nope and he's trying to be all humble afterwards sorry i went hood and fucking talking shit and did you know they put the statistic up that I could not believe that Mitrione has the second most KOs in UFC history in the heavyweight division? Really? Who's number one? Cain Velasquez. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. You're on a collision course. I know Ar Arlovsky is up there, and really? who else is there? They had like five guys posted. I'm like, holy shit! I didn't know Mitrione was he's second or tied for a second. Wow. With seven. I want to say Velasquez was 11, 10 or 11 at first. Wow. Like, who would have thought that? Not me. No. Not me. Junior Dos Santos on that list? Probably. He should be. Somewhere. Fabrizio Verdum? Not so much. No. He's on the receiving end of the Junior <laughs> Dos Santos uppercuts. Yes, he is. And then uh, I guess you talk to main event. The main event. What did you think of that one? Uh, I think it's pretty much one-sided, dominating fight. Jacare looks unstoppable. I say he fights Machida next. We need to see him fighting Machida. It probably has to happen because the Weidman Belfort fight is supposed to happen in like three months. Yeah. But I'll tell you this: Belfort's going to pull out of that fight. You think so? Yep. Why? And then someone's going to have to step up on short notice. Ooh. Chelson. <laughs> Chelson. Go. Oh, the guy's brother. gonna fucking step up. If anybody has to step out of short notice, Chelson. Yeah, he'll fight anyone, anytime, anywhere, in any way class. He doesn't give a shit. The guy's ready. He is on demand. He is. <sighs> yes. On demand. And then Rich Franklin, I think, retired. He or, did. Or did he? I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. Yes. You said. It's I think he's got one more fight on his contract or something. We'll move right along. Let's get some Ask the Nuts. Ask the Nuts. I'm trying to blitz through this show. Fastest show. I think you need some smelling salts. Ever. That's a good plan. <laughs> I like this stuff. We should get some smelling salts. Do you ever, you ever smell those? Once. It's not good. No. It fucking hurts. Yeah. You wake the fuck up. Yeah. This is from YouTube. Streamer ZZ2011. He says, a question you might discuss. Okay. Or you could discuss. Do you want to see good fighters, or would you rather see fighters that you know? I could say from my own point of view, you'd rather see fighters that he knows. Good fighters or fighters that I know? Hmm. What do you think? Not sure what he's asking, but maybe he's asking like your favorite fighters versus the guys who are like the best uh -huh. champions versus like. But most people like, I don't know. I mean, a lot of the good guys most people like are all really good, aren't they? Yes. So, hmm. I'm going to say Chris Cyborg. <laughs> Jeff Ellsbury. Do you guys uh, think we'll ever see Fedor and Metamoras? A little Fedor versus Josh Barnett would be interesting. It would be, but Josh Barnett tested happen. positive and killed Affliction. Yeah. Single handedly. Yep. It's like Seth Petrozelli killing Elite XC. By knocking <laughs> Kimbo out with a out. jumping jab going backwards yeah. on the button. Yeah. James Holmes Paul. UFC events becoming too frequent. Um, removing that anticipation aspect? Yes. Absolutely. We were just talking about that before the show. That it's um you know there's it's get, it's hard for me to get excited about anything coming up. I don't even know what I'm excited about in the next month or two, really. Well, I want to see that Weidman Belfort fight. That one excites me. Isn't that in December though? Yeah, I mean it's not anytime soon. Yeah, well, yeah, but that's a long. And time. then long time the, the that Jones Cormier fight would have been great. Oh, I was, one, yeah, one seventy eight still yeah. looks pretty good, even though those two aren't on it. Okay. But. You know, we're kind of kind of at this crossroad of <laughs> where are these interesting fights. I just think it's, we've had too much, and it's yeah. just overload, and hopefully this shit's going to rebound. It would be nice if it does. Yes. Benjamin Carter, best bone break in the UFC. He said he liked Silva 
because it was an accident, but intentional. Best bone break. I think uh, Frank Mir on Tim Sylvia. Yeah, that was brutal. It was fucking awesome. Like he's inverted armbar. Oh, he broke both bones. <laughs> Herb Dean's stopping it. He wants to fight on. Let him fight on. No, no. Look at the replay. Your fucking arms broke, son. You it's can't fine. fight on. You can't fight on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that one was on purpose. Or Frank Mir on Big Nine. That was a good one, too. Ripping his fucking shoulder out, right? Yeah. Yep. Frank Mir has done that a lot. Ronda Rousey on Misha Tate. That arm bar was yeah, pretty actually, good. Yeah, actually, that wasn't you. Was he that was, good? well, force. yeah, but I don't give a fuck. Strike Force. That was one of the more brutal ones, though, because that was just nasty. Like, oh, Jesus, how, what? She doesn't give a shit. Her arm is broke, and she's still retching it and wrecking yeah. it. Or any Paul Harris fight. <laughs> I don't know. That's not broken bones. That's just shredding your knee. Yeah. But. Aurelius Goldie Masoy. Who is less cocky, in your opinion? Dillashaw or Faber? And who are you rooting for if this fight happens? Dude, that's a tough one. I guess, you know, probably TJ Dillashaw is less cocky. Right. I think it was just strobing me. It's pointed right at me. On purpose? Yes. Is it recording you? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. They're both pretty cocky. Who do you think wins if the fight? I don't know. I don't think that fight's going to happen, actually. I'll play Dillashaw if it does. And Burrell is not going to get that shot again. No. Oh, he got blasphemed. Justin, Dr. Brown Carter, he says, Hey, Matt, since I know you're the one reading these off, could you read these phrases off in a GSP voice? <laughs> <laughs> My GSP voice is not very good. Hey. I don't even know if I can pull out GSP. What is it? I take the alien cock from this guy. I am not impressed by your performance. Fucking Josh Koscheck is normal. I am not impressed by your first episode of MMA Nuts. <laughs> That's the worst GSP impression ever. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're right along. Gustavo Ribeiro. Ingo, who do you think would win a topless pillow fight between Misha Tate and Jennifer Lawrence? Ooh, I think Misha Tate. I think she's got some big pillows. I don't know. I think Jennifer Lawrence pillows my out pillow Misha. Have you have you checked it side by side? No. <laughs> Who has the more voluminous? I'm gonna say Jennifer Lawrence. She looks a little more uh, Back. juicy. All right. It's hard to yeah. say. Misha's always restrained though. She's always got sport bras and and it's weight cutting and stuff. Yeah. Hard to say. Uh, follow up, name three people in the whole world you would put inside the octagon with a badass MMA fighter. So I guess three people that you don't particularly like or like. One, your boss. Two, who else? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> throwing out <laughs> suggestions for you. Uh, who else that I... Man, I don't have this much hate. Yeah, I don't have the it's hate. It's like, who would I want to get to see their ass kicked? Uh, I don't know, man. I really <laughs> That's a tough one. I don't have that much hate in my life no, anymore. No, I don't. I don't. It's all love. Rodrigo Machado, he says, it's time. It's time for the Brazilian question of the week. <laughs> all right. Which like UFC that. fighter do you see with the least holes in his game? And which one with the most? The least holes right now. Hmm. Most holes, who's Mar Paharis? <laughs> least holes. <laughs> least holes. Maybe like a, uh, is a UFC. God damn you guys with your UFC fighter questions. Least holes. And you can't take Cyborg. Probably got a lot of holes. Thank you. <laughs> They're probably ready and willing. I'm <laughs> just saying. Uh, uh, let me see. I'll be here all day. Nah. Knock on Knock classic. On. Good. <sighs> the I don't know, man. Like I would say, like a John Jones might come to mind. Unfortunately, he's not from Brazil's. 
Oh, yes. You need, need yeah, you need Brazil. Oh, uh, well, Souza looks pretty solid. Jacare. Seeing yeah. how he that just had a pretty dominant performance, I'd say. He looks probably like one of the most well-rounded from Brazil. Yeah. I'm not picking anybody under 155 pounds. we are right along. Wes Gilliam, what's your take on the Couture-Fedor matchup rumors? Kind of talk about that already. Gayness. Yeah. Double gay. It's like a catch-22 gay. Yep. We know what that's about, affiliates. Ryan Smith, who would win? Brendan Schaub and Matt Mitrione versus Joseph Benavides, Chad Mendez, Uriah Faber, and TJ in a four versus two handicap <laughs> match. Oh, man. Schaub and Mitrione. I okay. think Schaub gets knocked out in the first 30 <laughs> seconds. He gets knocked out. Like, Mitrione goes to throw, like, a bomb and fucking elbows him in the face. Yeah. Schaub's out. Now you got a four versus one. I think Mitrione can handle it. I don't think they can knock him out. No, but I think if you get enough, like, knee huggers, like, two, <laughs> one on each leg <laughs> and down. one on the waist and then one goes up for the choke. Maybe. I, I, I think the little guys win yeah. nine out of ten times. Probably. And then uh, last question from Ryan. Are you guys going to be watching Tough 20, and are you going to be rooting for Felice Herrig since she's from Illinois? Uh, I will be watching, and I don't have a favorite, actually. We'll see. I'll let the show dictate who I root for. Mm -hmm. I'm not for or against Felice, but I don't know. I might like some of the other fighters, too. That's right. And I will be watching this season. I'm going to let my daughters watch this one. Nice. Hopefully, I'm mean, probably. Get, I'm. It looks like there's a lot of caddy shit. You might put shit. her on like a week delay. Yeah. You know? Watch it and then let her watch it. The well, I'll probably time. just go to the fights and fast forward through all the caddy shit. The first show is always the best. You can't so keep them sure being caddy, that. Matt. It's just in their nature. Well, even the guys are fucking caddy. They are. And I, who cares? Let's just watch fights. The first episode's always the best, right? Yeah. they have, do they? But do they They're have to fight again? Off. Nope. Ah, oh, then the first episode is the worst. It's Dingo. Four belt, so I think they just. They've already been pre-chosen. Yep. Fuck. Fuck. Any knowledge? Nope. Oh, Sorry for all the yawning. I'm really not feeling well. I'm extremely exhausted. It's all right. Let's shut down then. Oh wait. What? Is there a T-shirt and/or prize winner? Before I forget, I always forget this, <laughs> and we have to go back. I like the like, GSP oh. one. I thought that was quite funny. <sighs> Even though you didn't. Really. Justin, Give Dr. A Bound Carter. Oh, we have to pick someone else. He's won a bunch. Of you, can, you can take Prize Closet. I'm fuck it. You're getting Prize a Closet. I'm just gonna randomly gift. send you something. Matt will send you his his uh, well Jennifer Lawrence sock. <laughs> we do have Adam and Eve as a sponsor, and BBC is our discount code for 50% off and free shipping. Can I get a BBC with the BBC? Yes. Fuck yeah. Done. You might be the first person to get something interesting in the mail. Oh. Okay. okay. Until now. Maybe. Done. All right. That's it. Shut it down. That's been this week's edition of MMA Nuts. Uh, next week, we will be on vacation. Yes. So we'll see you guys in two weeks. And uh, stay black. Thanks for playing.